Hi, my name is Claire Sharp and I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Veterinary Medicine. I'm actually a Murdoch graduate from back in 2002 and I worked in Australia before going overseas and doing my specialty training in emergency medicine and critical care. And in 2015, I returned to Murdoch as an academic where I do clinical work in emergency and critical care, teach students and of course do research. My research here at Murdoch is based around a couple of different fields. So the first is clinical conditions that I see in the emergency room every day that we currently have inadequate treatments for. So along with a team of researchers here at Murdoch, I investigate diseases associated with systemic infection or what we call sepsis, dogs and cats experiencing trauma. And we also do a lot of research on blood banking and blood transfusion for dogs and cats. The other side of that is a little more basic science. So I work with some researchers in the US investigating some newly discovered viruses in cats. So just like in human medicine, where new viruses are being discovered all the time, the same is true in veterinary medicine and understanding how those viruses cause disease and how we can control them is gonna be really important for animal health moving forward. So the veterinary degree here at Murdoch University is a combination of a three-year Bachelor of Science degree, followed by a two-year master's level Doctor of Veterinary Medicine. So we call it the BSc Bachelor of Science and DVM Doctor of Veterinary Medicine. But our veterinary students all take the same units through five years of veterinary school, which is all required in order to meet the competencies of graduating as a veterinarian. And the veterinary degree is a course that really builds upon itself. It relies on the fact that all of the students are doing the same unit. And so first year is very foundational. It starts with basic science units, chemistry, introduction to st statistics, all those kinds of things. Second year is more about anatomy and physiology of all different kinds of animal species. In third year, we start to cover when things go wrong. So the basis of disease, which is then reinforced in fourth year. And ultimately in fifth year, our students join us in the animal hospital at Murdoch and spend time in veterinary settings around the country and around the world to really refine their clinical skills at the end of all that five years of learning. Many of you would be aware that veterinary medicine has a bit of a reputation for being a difficult degree to get into, but we recognise that people from all different kinds of backgrounds might want to join us in this amazing profession. So there are lots of different avenues to getting into veterinary school and we really, really want to encourage a diverse population of students and subsequent veterinarians. So a small proportion of our veterinary students come straight from high school in Australia as domestic students into the veterinary degree based on their ATAR. But these days that's a relative minority. Other students join us after doing part or all of another degree. And this includes degrees at Murdoch University like the animal health, animal science degrees or degrees at other universities around Australia or even overseas. The moral of the story is that in order to get into veterinary medicine, you have to have a dedication to this as a profession and obviously enthusiasm for the subject. But if you can demonstrate that enthusiasm to join the veterinary profession, that you have the academic background that will allow you to succeed in veterinary school and that you have a bit of a sense of what it means to be a veterinarian, having already had experience working with animals in one way or another. Those are the kinds of things that help us when we're reviewing applications to understand not only the desire of the applicant to get into the veterinary program, but also their likelihood of being successful and really understanding what those five years of hard work are gonna involve. The veterinary program at Murdoch is an internationally recognized program that has an amazing reputation. So our reputation in the field allows us to be accredited with the key international accrediting bodies. So this includes the American Veterinary Medical Association, which allows our graduates to be able to work in North America the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons, which allows our graduates to work in the United Kingdom, and the Australasian Veterinary Boards Council, which obviously allows our graduates to work in Australia and New Zealand. 
but our degrees also recognise in other countries around the world, some of our closest neighbours like Singapore and Malaysia are good examples. So obviously when you graduate with a veterinary degree, you want to be able to work as a veterinarian and so that accreditation is really important. But it's so much more than that that Murdoch has to offer our students. It's really the day-to-day -day experience that our students get that make our graduates firstly have a really fun time at veterinary school, but also equips them with the skills that they need to become amazing members of the profession when they graduate. We have a very hands-on program. Our students start working with animals from first year and continue to do hands-on work both on campus and at Prax off campus throughout the five years of their degree. And here at Murdoch, we have some amazing facilities for those practical experiences. Although the university is situated in the middle of a big city here in Perth, we have a fully functioning farm with cows and horses and sheep and pigs that our students can work with during their time here. We also have a fully operational 24 seven veterinary hospital that's a teaching laboratory for our students. So we as veterinarians work in the animal hospital here alongside students, treating patients and working with their families. So those experiences to be immersed in the profession as a student really set our degree apart from many other programs around the world and prepare our students for success from the first day that they enter practice after veterinary school. Our students are encouraged to get as broad a range of practical experience as they can possibly get, and it's really only limited by the student's imagination. They have opportunities during breaks between semesters to go overseas and are encouraged to do so depending on their own specific interests. And there's a certain number of weeks and months over the course of the five years that the students have to do in different kinds of settings. So by the end of the five years, all of our students will have spent time on rural practice, at rural practices and farms around Australia, getting experience with different kinds of farm animals. By the end of the five years, all of our students will have also spent time in small animal veterinary practices outside of our teaching hospital. So there are certain requirements to ensure that all students have a minimum exposure to these opportunities but there's also flexibility to allow our students to really follow their own passion. So if we have a student, for example, that's interested in working with elephants in Africa, they're able to go to Africa and work with elephants during a, a break between semesters and get that experience that's something uniquely, you know, that they want. That's not part of the core curriculum, but we have connections with veterinarians and uh, other animal experiences around the world where we can set our students up for these opportunities and really allow them to explore all of their, all, all of the diversity that the veterinary profession has to offer. Our veterinary graduates never cease to amaze me in the amazing practice situations that they find themselves in after graduation. So many of our graduates go on to work in mixed animal or small animal practice which is what many of us expect we'll be doing when we go to veterinary school. But more graduates than you would expect go on to do things outside regular veterinary practice. Some of our graduates go on to work for pharmaceutical companies, developing the next generation of drugs and vaccines to help treat our veterinary patients. Some of our graduates go on to do research in basic sciences and make discoveries about the nature of disease, not only in animal medicine, but that may also inform human medicine. Some of our graduates work in conservation and travel the world saving endangered species. Some of our graduates work in food production and ensure that our food supply is safe and produced as efficiently and as ethically as possible. So there's really a million things that you can do with a veterinary degree. And again, it's really just limited by the imagination of our graduates. Being a veterinarian is just a really cool profession. I love every aspect of what I do. And as an academic at a university like Murdoch, I get the opportunity to do so many different things with the training that I have. It's lovely to be able to come to work and cuddle cute puppies and kittens, but obviously that's not the bread and butter of what we do. 
I love being able to be there for pet owners in their time of need. And as an emergency veterinarian, often I'm seeing owners whose pets have become very suddenly unwell and maybe even have a life-threatening condition. And although it can be very sad, it's extremely important to have a compassionate veterinarian there to be able to talk the family through that process. So it's very special to be able to be involved in those moments with individual pets and their families. But for me as an academic, it's more than that because not only do I get to participate in those interactions with pets and their family members, but I also get to teach veterinary students at the same time and start to bring them into this profession and learn to deal with those challenging interactions, both emotionally as well as scientifically when we're trying to work out what might be wrong with a sick animal. Being at a university also means that we're at the forefront of veterinary research and we have the opportunity to leave a legacy in the profession by expanding our understanding of certain diseases and investigating new treatments, those kinds of things. If you want to be a veterinarian, my main advice is not to ever give up. It's not necessarily easy to get into veterinary school, but it's definitely worth it. So do whatever you need to do to get into veterinary school. And all those experiences that you gather along the way will ultimately make you a better veterinarian. So if you don't get in first time, talk to the admissions people here at the university, ask them what you can do to improve your application from ne for next time and try again. It's not always easy, but it's definitely worth it when you get here. And it's one of those professions where those experiences that you have getting into veterinary school also prepare you really well for the challenges of the profession because it's not always an easy job to do, but with hard work and diligence, it definitely pays off.